One county in Indiana is coping with an extreme outbreak of chicken pox. Now to an outbreak of chicken pox at an Osceola County Middle School. Well, Johanna broke out with chicken pox a couple weeks ago, and now we have 11 more broke out. I think we're at a tipping point, and it worries me. It's one of the hottest topics in today's society, the battle between vaccines and the diseases they prevent. Chicken pox has been around for centuries, and until 20 years ago, it was one of the most common childhood diseases. Today, we have seen incredible success with the chicken pox vaccine, and yet there are still parents refusing to vaccinate their children. I'm Justina Paprosky, and this is 300 Seconds. Prior to 1995, chicken pox was considered a normal part of childhood. If one kid in the neighborhood had the chicken pox, everybody would come over because eventually your child would get it anyway. It was that prevalent. My oldest came home from school on the last day of kindergarten and he wasn't feeling so good. And so the next day he woke up and he started to have some spots on his back and his stomach and his chest, uh, just a couple. By the end of the day, he had maybe two or three times more uh, all over. The doctor said, definitely, it's a chicken box. Don't bring him into the uh, office. It was terrible. The, the spots were just all over. Um, at the end of the two weeks, his little brother got it. So for a month, in the middle of summer, I had to keep the two kids in the house. Um, ages five and three. When someone is infected with chicken pox, the body creates antibodies, which are tagging molecules that bind to the virus and tell the body to attack it. If the person encounters the virus again, they don't get sick because the body remembers what the virus looked like and attacks it immediately. This is why, as most people know, you can't get chicken pox twice. Now scientists have created a way to trick the body into thinking it's infected with chicken pox without having the child become ill. The body makes the same exact immune response, the same memory cells. My own son has an immunodeficiency for a, a, uh, an unfortunate hereditary, hereditary condition, and as a result, we can't vaccinate him. The only reason that he did any vaccinations was because it was the only way to get him into kindergarten, because they won't let the kids into school without vaccinations. Uh, and, and we're really depending upon the parents who or in our neighborhoods, our school system to vaccinate their own kids to help protect our son. I don't do the flu shot. Um, I'm a clinical herbalist. I don't, I do everything naturally. Chicken pox has this stigma about it that it's a benign childhood disease. That is simply not the case. Since like when I was little, we had I think three or four vaccines and now they have, I think he's had close to over 25 shots so far. It's definitely doing something to the immune system. One in 60,000 cases result in a death. Hundreds of others result in seizures, encephalitis, skin, and blood infections. And worse than that, if the child survives the infection in childhood, the virus can reactivate later in life and cause shingles, which is debilitating in itself. My mother-in-law had shingles about five years ago and still has repercussions from them. She still has nerve damage. She still feels that she has shingles. It just never gone away. One in 60,000 deaths doesn't seem like many, but if you ask me, that's one too many. I believe that children today should be vaccinated against chicken pox. It's just uh, horrible, it's uncomfortable, they can leave scars. The kids don't know not to scratch. Before the chicken pox vaccine, the odds were that your child would get infected at some point. But modern medicine has made this disease unnecessary. Your child no longer has to have the chicken pox. There were no vaccines way back then. And we all got it. We're still alive. No, I don't think any illness is a rite of passage. There's a group of people who think that children today are getting too many shots too soon. But ask any one of the parents of these children and they'll tell you that there's too many childhood deaths from vaccine preventable diseases. Chicken box is entirely preventable. There are vaccines, why not use them? It's not just the chicken pox. It's not just chicken pox. It's not just about chicken pox. It's not just chicken pox. It's not just chicken pox. So there are too many too soon. It's not just the chicken pox.